Hi there, welcome to another edition of My ABC Dad, a place where we can learn together. My name is Craig and this here is... Oh yeah. And in today's session, we will be revisiting our cuboids that we made and we are going to cover them in paper mache so that we get a little bit closer to creating our piggy bank. So we hope you join us for that and let's get started. Okay, so we're back for part two of our piggy bank creation. And we've got our two cuboids here ready to go, built from uh, part one. And Elliot and I discovered that a cuboid has six surfaces, 12 edges, and eight points. And the second part of our piggy bank creation here involves covering the cuboid in paper mache. And the next thing we need is some cardboard or some newspaper. Material that you need will be a bowl, something to keep your glue and water mixture in. You'll need some scrap paper. Gluey water. That's right, gluey water. Okay, maybe just, just a little bit more. Water. When you're doing your paper mache, the, you put the paper in and you run the paper through the your fingers so that you take off the extra liquid and then you just apply it and you put it on your your shape and use the extra liquid just to to mold it to where you want it to be and try and flatten down all the parts your goal is to try and cover the shape first before you start adding more pieces to make make it maybe thicker or stronger so okay so we're gonna fast forward this Okay, so Elliot and I have put our paper mache onto our cubes and now we're going to let it dry a little bit. So we'll come back when it's dry and do you have any top tips for everybody at home when you're, you're putting on uh, paper mache? What would you tell people to? Put your fingers so there's not too much glue on it. Okay, so run run the paper mache through your fingers after you've dipped it in the glue so that you don't have too much glue on it before you put it on your your box or your cuboid. That's a really good tip. And then my tip is occasionally once in a while you'll want to put down maybe a dry piece of paper and and use some of the excess glue that's on the the box already and now yeah now we're going to need to clean up okay so that concludes this video session where Elliot and I put some paper mache onto our cuboids and we'll wait for it to dry. The next step, or part three in this series, is to paint our cuboids so that it becomes a fantastic piggy bank. So we hope you join us for that, and we'll see you soon. Bye.